What's up, Fitzy? What's up, Cal's Peak? Yo, what's going on, Joe? How are you, man? What's up, John? Got Mark Hutch in the house. What's up, Mark? Hold fast cards and collectibles. Says, dang, you took long enough to have another sale. What am I supposed to do with my life? Sorry, hold fast. Happy to be back. I am planning on uh, doing these more frequently again. So I'm going to try to do them every other week uh, again coming up soon. What's going on, David? Good to see you, man. Yeah, pump for another fun night. Give it a few minutes to let some more people roll on in, then we'll get started. We got great Scott in the house. What's going on, Scott? Gate Smasher, how are you, man? Appreciate you popping in. We got Doc's cards in the house. What's going on, Doc? Hope you're having a good weekend, man. Doing good, brother. Getting prepped for the Brotherly Love Show next Sunday. Nice. Is that a pretty good show? I don't think I've ever uh, been to that one before. Or is that the Fishtown show? Or I guess, maybe they're separate. I'm not good with geography. Jack's baseball cards. Let's go. What's going on, brother? Happy Saturday night. Been watching a ton of baseball this weekend. And man, it's been an exciting year already. 100 tables in Voorhees, Philly last time. Gotcha. All right. If I don't have anything going on, I might check it out. Didn't go to any shows this weekend. I was pricing up cards for most of uh, today. What's going on, B. Walker? What's going on, CJ's Trick Shots? I appreciate that, buddy. And uh, hope you're having a good weekend. Wow. That car will be yours, Jax. Don't you worry. I think Nunzi's going to pull it, and then he's going to sell it to you. Three minor league games. Wow, you're three now. You're the good luck charm, Scott. Which uh, minor league clubs did you get to see play we got tough pulls tim in the house what's going on tim good to see you brother hope all is well Bufus is in the house what's going on Bufus? been killing those psa subs recently hope you're having a good weekend buddy nice going to the game tomorrow at city field hope you bring us a nice Game three, win of the series. The Mets uh, won the first game against the Royals. They lost today, I think, 11-7. to Pete Alonzo did have two home runs today, though, which was nice to see. Pete Alonzo, I think, has six on the year. Canapolis Cannonballers and the Carolina Mudcats. The Mudcats are a Brewers affiliate, if I'm not mistaken. Not familiar with the Cannonballers, but that's an incredible name. Wow. Lot. Look alive, ladies and gents. I'm about to make a cool 250k in my home sale. I'm in a buying mood. That's pretty insane, dog. Congratulations on the huge sale. But please give some other people a chance to get some cards tonight. <laughs> Cannonballers, White Sox affiliated team. Nice. You get to see Colson Montgomery. All right, I'm going to put my information in the chat, and then we will get started in just a few minutes here, folks. But it's nice to be back. It's been a little while since uh, we had our last live sale, so I don't have as many in terms of volume for sale, but I did try to add a bunch of new cards, so at least there's going to be some nice variety tonight. Low A team, gotcha. Got Eddie in the house. 
saw you in another YouTuber's video at the Chantilly show. Oh, really? What YouTuber? I Yeah, I, I was working last weekend at the Chantilly show in Virginia. We got Blockman in the house. Says Jet, it's going to be a problem when he comes up. Ramirez is swing is long. Parada looked good. Bufus is at work. Moving into another building for PSA. Nice. That means you're growing. What's going on, Floyd fan? All right, I'm just going to pop my information in the chat and then we'll get started here. Hey, what's up, James? Long time no see, man. Hope, uh, hope all's well. Type too slow anyway. <laughs> yeah, we got some snipers, so... Gotta be quick. Pedscardcollection at gmail.com. Alright. One sec, I'm almost there. Got 95, sir, in the house. Yeah, I saw that, Doc. Sorry about that. That's That sucks. You hate to see any pitcher go down like that. Uh, and it's, it sucks when it's, you know, your number one starter. I've been through it with Jacob deGrom going down to Tommy John, so I definitely, that sucks. I hate to see Strider go down, you know. At the end of the day, it's uh, you hate you hate to see these guys get seriously hurt or seriously injured to where they have to miss the season so it's not good for anybody not good for baseball wish him a speedy recovery there's been a tommy john epidemic going on recently and there's there's a lot of um people trying to explain it but you know it's i think it's just the nature of the beast at this point got tomahawk cards in the house what's up tomahawk i did see that boofus congratulations Oh, I didn't know that was his second Tommy John. When was his first? I'm sure he'll be he'll be able to return. It's just a matter of, you know, how long will it hold? All right, so let's get into this three dollar cards first. Yeah, I have my first softball game tomorrow morning, so I might need Tommy John after I hose a couple a couple runners uh, trying to test me. From the outfield, but it'll be worth it. Yeah, Bueller's still trying to come back. Alrighty. Here we go. It was nice to see Nick Lodolo come back, though, on the flip side of injuries. Alright, so we are going to start out with the $3 stack. Thanks, Bufus. First to say, sole player's last name gets the card. <laughs> Thanks, Floyd fan. 
There's nothing better, Tomahawk. All right. First one up for three bucks. This one does have a crease on it, but first Bowman Chrome, Jack Brannigan Gold to 50. Once again, first to say sole player's last name gets the card if you're a new buyer here. Just have to send over payment for your uh, initial purchase and then uh, you'll be good for the rest of the night. So I got sold branding to James. James is in the house tonight. James, I got to shoot you an email, man. I'm finally back and caught up. So I might be able to help you out, man. Believe it or not, I actually don't pitch in softball. It's completely different than baseball pitching because I play in a slow pitch league too. <laughs> so I'm not trying to get a line drive cooked back at my coconut. Um, James is setting the tone. All right, sounds good, James. I will, uh, I'll shoot you an email tomorrow and we'll talk. All right, next up for three, I pulled this from my Heritage Hobby Box. It is a Justin Turner uh, Relic. Yeah, miss you too, man. This is a 1975 design. I'm pumped to see what the rest of the boxes I bought have in store. I bought four boxes, and uh, the first one was pretty bad, not going to lie. But I, I love the design. Um, I really do love it, so I'm excited. I got sold Turner to Eddie. Hey, we got Bud Rips in the house. What's going on, brother? What are you getting into this weekend? What are you sipping on? What are you buying? Orioles are looking good. Hot box. What's a flip box? Slow pitch with blue dots or gold dots is scary when pitching. Yeah, I'm not trying to play. Uh, I'm not trying to stand 40 feet away when this get, when there's a 45 year old man swinging with all of his might. <laughs> Anywho, next up. Once again, these are all three dollars until I say otherwise. Got a Lennon Sosa gold rookie. This was from one of my series one. Jumbo hobbies. Speaking of which, I still have two more jumbo hobbies to um to get to. So we're gonna be uh, cranking up the videos in just just a short minute. Going to the Orioles game tomorrow to watch Corbin Burns pitch. That is awesome. Send me some pictures, man. That I've never been to the Baltimore uh, park, but it looks like such a sweet venue. Next up, Wilson Contreras. Maybe he'll get to see Jackson Holiday's first hit. Maybe he's try to get a physical ticket because that could be worth something someday. I got sold Sosa to Floyd Fan. I haven't been to Walmart in a little while, Doc, but I'll definitely keep an eye out for that. Whoops, just knocked the camera on. Fat packs. Yeah, don't sleep on that retail. You can get some big cards. Next up, we got a Picro Armstrong Tops Stars in MLB Chrome. Checked mine today. No dice, says Blockman. Dude, you should try to get there for batting practice. Yeah, that would be sweet to get a couple autographs. I mean, the Orioles don't have really anybody bad on their team so any autograph would would be pretty awesome even if it's like a bench player yo what's up m&m cards good to see you brother you still at the uh iron pigs game or did that end yet sorry i missed your comment earlier next up we got a ryan mcmahon this is the tops chrome aqua number to 199 for the Rockies.
Next up, we got a Nico Horner, Smokies. Just got home, nice man. Got an A-Rod card, sample. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out for that in my upcoming uh, boxes. Uh, <laughs> Next up, we got a Robbie Martin Bowman to 199 Got a Verlander on the rainbow foil. Oh, I'm sorry, the Horner is a high number. Thanks, Floyd fan, for pointing that out. Next up, we got a Jaron Duran first, Bowman Mojo. Got a Chase Utley, number to 1350. It was good, Mike. It was good. Next up, we got a Carlos Correa, Bat Relic. I think he just landed on the IL, unfortunately. Might have strained his oblique. Can't believe he didn't burn the, the Utley. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a huge Utley fan, to be honest, but it's not mine, so I, I wouldn't do that to you. What year is the Utley? Uh, let me check one sec. So this is a uh, Goldschmidt Advanced Stats to 300. The Utley is from 2005 Artifacts. So, yeah. Sold Goldschmidt to James. Nice pickup there. Alrighty. Next up, we have another card I pulled out of one of my Series 1 boxes. A Brandon Hughes on the Gold Rookie. I got sold to Utley to Blackman, uh, Blockman. Nice snag there. Sold Hughes to Floyd fan. Sounds good. Yeah, Goldie's a future Hall of Famer. I don't he's severely underrated. Um won the MVP just a couple of years ago. Alright, so Utley is gonna be sold. And then I got the Hughes sold to Floyd fan. What's up, TJ? Of all baseball collectors, content creators, you're easily my favorite. Learned a ton watching and following you over the years. Hope to catch you at a show soon. Ever checked out Dallas Card Show? Thank you, TJ. I really appreciate that, man. And it uh, means a lot to hear that, you know. Some of this stuff is resonating, so I really uh, am happy you enjoy this and uh, would definitely love to uh, cross paths at a show one of these days. I've never been to the Dallas Card Show, but I've heard it's awesome, and I would love to get there one day. So a lot of high-end, modern, and uh, I've heard it's a great show. So, All right, so we got Floyd Fan on the Hughes. Let me just double-check my work real quick. Goldschmidt went to James. And then, okay, Floyd uh, Blockman got the Ali. All right, next up for three, we got a bunny, Buddy Kennedy Gold rookie, number to 2023 for the D backs. Alrighty, next up we have a numbered Ian Hap to 399. Next up, we have a Trevor Story to three ninety nine. Really, really tough luck for Story. Gonna be uh, gonna miss the remainder of the season, having a major shoulder surgery after diving for a ball and uh, dislocating his shoulder pretty severely. So. Guy was holding back tears in his uh, post-game interview, and it's just tough. You feel for the guy, and you just you just send him good good spirits and wish that you know he has a healthy recovery because 
He's had a tough go at it with the injury bug. How much is the Posey? Uh, this is a Gem Mint 10, PSA 10, number to 199. I'm asking 600 or best offer. It's like a pop nine. All right. Next up, Austin Hayes on the pink to 350. This one's got a little corner, but Martian rookie card. Next up, we got a Todd Helton. Giancarlo Stanton on the game used memorabilia. Gabriel Moreno, rainbow foil rookie. We got a Max Muncy all-star game relic. Nestor Cortez relic. Game used. Justin Crawford. Relic. I got sold Cortez to Eddie. Nice snag there. Yeah, you got to call out a name there, Pumpy. Nice pick up there, Eddie, on the Cortez. Next up, we have a Luis Arise on the green foil, number to 499. We got a Burt Blylevin, number to 46. Rod Carew on the blue. We got a Josh Fleming, auto to 50. Needs to go downstairs and grab a beer. Been a long week. Sold Carew. Oh, I'm sorry, there's Trout on the back. My bad. Sold to David. Nice snag there. Can I see the Bly 11 again? Yeah, give me one second. All righty. Let me see. Bly 11, Bly 11, Bly 11. 44 out of 46. Yeah, Trout is looking awesome coming out of the gates. I think this is the presidential parallel. Next up, this one's got a little mark on the back, but Ellie De La Cruz, rookie stars of the MLB. You want to see the months again? Sounds good. Tops Chrome Stars of the MLB, Jordan Lawler. We got sold Muncie to Eddie right before David. Got Eddie first on my end. Next up, Miguel Sano on the Relic. Yeah, Bobby Wood Jr. off to a red hot start. I got sold Lawler to Doc. Nice snag there, Doc, getting us on the board here. Alrighty, next up, we got a Michael Conforto on the Game Use Relic. Bobby Witt is on fire coming out of the gates. He'd love to see it. 17 run score. He has three triples. The guy's on fire. Sold Conforto to hold fast. He says, I'll take that new I'll take that San Francisco Giant. Hold fast is on the board.
Next up, we got a Dying Jorge, number two, two ninety nine. Ha! That's funny. What's up, Kiwi? Next up, this one's a little corner. It's a Fleer 2001 Cal Ripken Jr. Conforto has more homers than Otani. Wow. I was, I was wondering how Conforto was doing. Is he still starting for the Giants? Um, next up, we got a Brent Rooker first by McCrome. Got a Pudge Relic. Alan Ginter sold Ripken to Doc. Looking good this year. Nice. Saw Logan Webb was pitching today. I think they said he was throwing pretty well. He's got that nice two-seamer. Next up, we got a Gary Sanchez. This one is numbered to 150 on the Relic. Wilson Contreras on the Relic from 20... 20 Tops Heritage. Oh, I was, I was just about to say, is Sanchez still in the majors? That's kind of funny. Chapman to 399. We got two of these. Tristan McKenzie on the Mojo. It's got a little surface thing going on. Avi Sal Garcia, purple to 250. Cubs, uh, Cubs rainbow foil. Got a Kenley Jansen, number 299, little corner. It's George Springer on the relic. This one's got some surface issues. Uh, Trey Mancini, rookie auto. We got a Liriano on the refractor. Sold Jansen to David. Nice snag there. Next up, this one does a print line, but we got Casas Refractor. 68 reprint of Clemente. Sold Mancini for two. Yeah, I'll do that for you. Sold Clemente to Doc. All right, got a few more $3 cards, then we'll get to the $4. We got a Jose Ramirez Rainbow Foil. Sandy Alcantara. Purple to 275 Miguel Blyce. Relic from Penny Status. Got a Hunter Brown on the Halloween Rookie. Joe Maurer, 3D. Does have a little crease. But a cool card. Insert of Crawford and Cole. And we got a Tim Anderson purple to two ninety nine. What's up, Fraylin? Tops Chrome Tatis Refractor. I don't know if I have any refractors. Might have some base, though, coming up. All right, we are going to move on to the $4 stack. Here we go. First up for four. Not numbered. I thought it was, but it's a Adley Pink rookie debut. Not quite sure what product this was from. I thought the pinks from Update were numbered. But apparently this one is not. <laughs> Next up for four, we got a David VR Rookie Auto. Uh, 
That's pretty sweet, Doc. Is that the blue? Got a J.D. Davis autograph. Number two, one ninety nine. Ah, retail pink. Sold VR to hold fast. Next up, we got a Donier Cueva on the Pro Debut Autograph. Tommy Pham, Father's Day Blue to 50. How You Lee, Blue first to 150. Same box had an Acuna Gold Cup. Dang. This one's got a little dimple on it, but Nolan Shanwell, yellow. We got a Ryan Nelson rookie autograph. Ted Loins to 25. Sold fan for two. Um, I'll have to ask Floyd fan on that if he wants to do that. Oh, he had a bad injury? Shoot. I did not see it, Floyd fan, but I will not <laughs> look it up right now at least. What's up, Lockin? Sounds good. Sold to James for two. Sold Shonwell to David. Appreciate that, David. Oh, shoot. Are you serious, Floyd fan? That's terrible. Next up, this is VG Condition. 65 tops, Bill Mazeroski. Sold Lee for $3. Let's see what we got. Uh, are you okay with 3 bucks on that, Floyd fan? Floyd fan says, sure. Sold to James for 3 A couple more $4 cards. What do you think on a Cardinacion strand photo, photo variation goes for? From what set? Next up, we got a Peraza rookie relic. Hopefully, his yams didn't fall out. I uh, pulled this one from, uh, I think it's got a little corner, but I pulled this from my hobby box. It's a white border, Tucker and Olsen. I actually missed it in the video, but when I went back to, uh, sort the box i actually found this and realized so sold olsen to james nice snag there sold rushman for three i can do that for you adam welcome i didn't uh see you pop on in here hope you're having a good weekend adam get that rushman in your stack adam s is on the board one sec fellas Forgot to tell you, I found a stadium club. Wit Black out of 99. Congrats, dude. All right. Pulled the Tucker Auto from one of my Heritage boxes. Nice. Autographs are tough to come by for the Heritage, but when you do hit them, you can hit some pretty nice ones. Next up for four, we got a Jet Williams on the die cut number two, 172. Once again, really appreciate everybody hanging out and uh, taking some time out of the weekend to talk cards. Always appreciate it. Next up, this one does have a corner. 
issue. Uh, first year, Nelson Cruz, Bowman first. Benny the Jet Williams. That's that is a great, a great nickname. And then we have a Ryan Mountcastle gold out of fifty. So that is going to conclude the four dollar stack. I might throw up a little auction lot of Floyd fans unsold three dollar cards if that's cool with you guys I'm thinking maybe numbered chrome lot so let's see what we have available sold Mount Castle to James that's a nice pickup there James so I'll throw that in your stack and then let me throw up a little auction lot Let's see what we got. A little numbered card lot. Picking the numbered cards. Tops Chrome numbered. Oh, I'll, I'll definitely need a potty break later, so you can count on that. Um, all right, one sec, guys. I'm trying to figure something out. I'm trying to figure out how the world was made. <laughs> All right, what are we doing here? All right, tops, tops, numbered, numbered. I'm going to keep it to tops, not Donruss for now, or Bowman, even though Bowman is a tops company. All right, looks like we got our lot made. Anderson to 299. We got Sean in the house. What's up, Sean? I'll concentrate to 275. Garcia, so far it's the purple show. We got two Chapmans to 399. Running out of stands here, so we'll put we'll put these two on the same stand just to cons conserve some space. What else we got? We got Austin Hayes on the pink. We got a story to three ninety nine, Hap to three ninety nine, and Ryan McMahon. So let's see. Start that all at one dollar. I will be right back. We'll throw this Luis Arise in as well, numbered to four ninety nine. I will be right back. Start at one buck. Here we go.
All right, let's see where we're at. Catch up here. All right, we got some action here. 6, 8, 12, 11, 14, 17. Pumpy 18, James. Pumpy 20. Pumping up the jam at 20 going once. What's up, T-Bear? What's going on? Going once, going twice. Last call on this lot. Alrighty, this one is going to be sold to Pumpy at 20. Nice pickup. Alright, we are going to move on to the $5 stack. One second to clear off the stage. All righty. Let's see where we're at. All right, now we're ready to rock. Next up, $5 stack. Here we go. This one has got... This, this one's pretty banged up. I'm not going to lie. It's not going to grade high, but it's a cool one. Number to 2003 for 5 bucks. 2003, tops Pedro Martinez gold. Back when they had that cool-looking font. Sold Pedro to Floyd Van. Glad you were able to snag that. That's a sweet one. Next up, this one's a little off center, but the ace of the Royals, I believe. Cole Reagan's Topps Chrome Update negative rookie card. Guy throws cheese. The gold does have a sparkle to it. It's a sweet, sweet finish that they used, whatever it was. Next up, this one's got the tiniest, tiniest corner. But number 299, back with the vengeance today. 10Ks, 5 innings. Nick Lodolo, Brooklyn Collection, Chartreuse to 99. Next up, we got a Mackenzie Gore 2019 Bowman Gold to 50. Pitch today, I honestly don't know how he did. I didn't check the Nats game. I think they played the Giants, maybe. Not quite sure how he did. Next up, Colson Montgomery, number to 99 on the Panini Prism. A's, uh... All right, next up, how about a Panini Immaculate Ryan O'Hearn patch card, number to 25. Now with the Orioles. 
It's tough to get playing time over there in Baltimore these days. You got a whole whole roster just chock full of stars. This one's got a couple print lines, but numbered to 199, five. We've got a Mason Miller rainbow foil rookie. Speaking of the A's. Guys throwing 102, 103 this year. Eleven Ks, I stand corrected. Wow. What? Course Gore struck out eleven batters in five innings. That's insane. Jose Fermin on the black border. I pulled this out of my hobby box. I don't think he's the greatest rookie, to be honest, but these are print runs of 50. Next up, we got a Lou Bob short print. I actually pulled this one off camera, I think, two weekends ago. I just decided to open a mega box I had sitting around for a while, and this was the best card in there. Um, I think it would get a PSA 10, though. Um Oh, Jose Fermin. I'm sorry. There's a couple Fermins. Sold Robert to Adam. Sold Fermin for... Yeah, I can do that for you, James. It does say white border. All righty. Next up for five, Geraldo Perdomo Auto. I pulled this out of one of my 2023 Series 1 Jumbos. Not a rookie, but a Perdomo on the autograph. Cool card there. Yeah, I, was, I, I thought I might have had an error card, Floyd Finn. I actually checked on eBay to make sure, but... The black border cards say white border for some reason, so I guess that's just a glitch um, for all of the you know variation borders. Next up for five, we got a Tyler Freeman rookie autograph for the Guardians. Honestly, don't know too much about him, but I did see the Guardians were playing the Yankees. Peds, did that gold Bowman pirate card sale? I don't know. What was the card again? Oh, yeah, that card sold. Red Shindane's card is actually Whitey Herzog. Gotcha. All right, next up for five. This one's number two, 299. Vlad Guerrero Jr., 1988 Tops Design. This is a black border parallel. Next up, this one's got a slight corner ding, but we got a Mookie Betts game used memorabilia card from Heritage. Sold Vladdy for four. Yeah, I can do that for you, hold fast. Not a problem. Looks like we had some interest on the bets. I have James first before Tomahawk and David. Sorry, guys. I got James first on the bets. James is quick. All right. So I got a couple more or a few more $5 cards to get through. So this one's pretty cool. Numbered out of 50. I think he might be the closer of the Mariners now. I don't know. Munoz Panini Prism Rookie Auto to 50. Yeah, Betts is having a huge year too. I bought a really nice Betts slab before the season started, and I think I got it for a great deal. 
Next up, this one's got some print lines, but we got a Cavan Biggio first Bowman Chrome autograph. Sold Biggio to James. Sold Munoz for four. Sure, I'll do that for you, uh, Floyd fan. All right, next up, we got a Trout on the Jackie Robinson commemorative patch. James is back with the Vengeance. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to be fair, and I have to give this one to uh, Bobby. Bobby spelled it right first. I'm sorry, David. We will have some more trout cards coming up, though. I have Bobby Sap on the uh, trout. Thanks, Tiff, for understanding, David. There will be more trout cards later on, so don't don't feel bad. I mean, we got a lot of, we got a lot to get through. Um, so trout is gone. All right, next up we have Say Suzuki on the blue border, eighty seven design. What's going on, Michael? Hope you're having a good weekend. Sold, say Suzuki to James. Next up, this one's got some surface issues. Uh, Number to 50, though. Jose Ramirez, purple. Tomahawk card says he just hit a homer for his fantasy team. Nice. Yeah, I thought the Cubs were actually on tonight late. I think they're playing... I forget who they're playing, but... Looks like he hit a home run tonight. Next up, this one does have some print lines. Uh, Brooks Lee, first refractor. Playing Seattle. Thank you. Next up, this one's got a little surface scratch, but five on the Nick Gonzalez. Tomahawk says, trying to beat this dude I work with who's a Phillies fan, can't stand it. <laughs> Best of luck, Tomahawk. Sold Lee to Bobby. What's going on, Tyler? Go Phillies. <laughs> I saw the Phillies beat the Pirates today, 4-3, to three, in a close one. All right. Um, let's see. Where's Bobby Stack? What card? Did, didn't Bobby just win a card? Why am I? Can I not place this stack? Did I put your card in the wrong stack? What what did um Oh the trout, All right? What the where the heck did I put it? <laughs> oh, I put the wrong name on it. Sorry. <laughs> Attaboy Peds. Look alive, kid. All right, now we're good. Back to our show here. What's up, Dave? Uh, I'm not going on to the Plainview, uh, Plainview show, unfortunately. I got a busy day tomorrow. Working with a little Miller Lite. Nothing too crazy. How about you guys? All right, a couple more $5 cards. This one's got some surface problems, but number to 99, Todd Helton, 2000. 
Uh, the cor- um, Jose Ramirez is number to 50, James. Blue light, nice. What's up, Silver Banks? This one's got a little surface scratch, but Jet Williams on the pink shimmer number to 199. Sold Jose for four, says James. Floyd fans, is that cool with you? Says deal sold for four to James. Castle cream, Castle Danger Cream Ale. Wow, that sounds delightful. Yingling, that's one of my favorite beers of all time. Sold Helton for four. Deal Bobby sounds good. Bobby got the Helton. All right, we are moving on up to the six to six to ten dollar stack here. Starting to crank things up just a touch. Go back through the cards that went unsold too at the end of the uh, circuit. So if you missed a little bit or wanted to see, take a closer look at something else, you'll have a chance. But here we go. Start with the six dollar stack. Everything is six bucks until I say otherwise. Speaking of the Pittsburgh Pirates, how about this guy coming alive? Joey Bart. On card autograph for the Volcanoes, Tops Heritage Miners. Coming alive. For six. Next break, feel free to do a 24 Series 1 start along with my unsold Series Okay, you got it, Floyd fan. We'll do that for the next auction lot. Oh, my back is barking. Sold Bart to James. Sold Miller to Peds. Next up, we have a Aaron Nola Tops Definitive Game Use Relic for six. It's got the hologram on it. Exactly, Henry. I exactly sold Nola to James. You got to say the name. Gotta say the name. Sorry, Tyler, but this one's going to James. Yeah, I was deadlifting pretty heavy yesterday. I... Was Miller numbered to six or 12? What Miller? Yeah, I'm a big. Uh, I like to. I go to the gym like four or five, four or five times a week. Ah, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm. I am an idiot. I got you. I got you. <laughs> to six. To six. All right. Next up, that one went straight over my head. Um, this one is numbered out of 50 for six. Minnesota Twins Father's Day Blue. I'm an idiot. I was thinking, like, did I just show a Mason Miller card? Dude, you literally just said it two seconds ago. What are you talking about? Number 225. This one's got some surface issues. Yeah, I meant... Sold. I was cracking a new beer. It was a bad joke. <laughs> but we are moving on to the $8 stack here, ladies and germs. Let's get to it. Let's get to it.
It is, James. Number to 25. Yep, six bucks. Oh, trust me. There's more Tomahawk. I pulled a Red Sox parallel. Sold McCutcheon to James. Alrighty. I got that one at pretty high jacks. Um, probably too high. <laughs> I'm asking a thousand bucks on it, but I could I could move off of that. Um, Alrighty, next up, moving on to the eight dollar stack. This is uh, number to one seventy five. We have a Jackson Merrill. Tops Pro Debut, like Diamond Parallel, to 175. I got sold Merrill to James. Alrighty, next up. Another Tops Pro Debut. This one is Xavier Isaac, number to 99 on the green Farm Fresh Futures. Did you know the three youngest baseball players in MLB right now are all named Jackson? Jackson Holiday, Jackson Churio. And who's the third one? Jackson. Jackson. Give me a hint. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Merrill. Of course. How could I forget? I am so dumb. All right, next up for eight. I literally just saw the card and I can't remember the guy's name. <laughs> All right, next up, Jose Ra Ra Ramos. This is uh, number to 55. Next up, so this one has a uh, print line on it Victor Lizarraga on the gold first to 50. I got sold Ramos to David. Henry says that's why I mentioned the tidbit. All right, this one's going to David. Next up, this one is an extremely light print line. Bryce Miller, Ray Wave Aqua Rookie to 199 Sold Lizaraga for six. Yeah, I can do that for James. No problem. Sold for six. Alrighty. Next up. This one's got a tiny... It's not that bad. I mean, at worst, it would get a PSA 9. Next up. This one's got a tiny edge edge uh, problem, but Bryce Harper gold number to twenty twenty three the top little it's got a little tick at the top, but eight bucks on that. I got sold Harper to Bobby. Next up, this one's got some uh, a print line, but numbered out of 50, Monty Irvin. How much for the BGS bonds and what is it exactly? I'm asking 300 on this. This is a 1999 Topps Tech. Barry Bonds, gold, numbered out of 10. 
think they made a couple different poses of Barry Bonds in this set with the numbered parallels. This one is 19B. Got a Beckett 9. I think a PSA 10 did around 600. And, um, yeah, so... If you want a card, you got to say the player's last name. Just remember. Sold Irvin for five, question mark. Is that all right with you, uh, Floyd fan? Well, I got 300 bucks on the uh, Barry Bonds, number out of 10, if anybody's interested. Back at nine. Tops Tech Gold. <laughs> Sounds good to hold fast. All right. Hey, Peds, long time watcher, first time on the chat. Keep up the outstanding content. I appreciate your contribution to the hobby. Thank you, Andy. I appreciate the kind words, my friend, and uh, hope you're having a good weekend. And thanks for uh, stopping by and saying hello. We always love to have new uh, chatters, new viewers, new people. And don't be shy. Say hello if you're hanging out you don't have to buy any cards to be here i rarely buy cards in people's streams i just thought that this might be an avenue to allow people to get some cards if they want and um yeah all right next up this one does have some surface issues, but number out of 10 for eight bucks, Juan Bin Cho, Vertex Gold. Who's the Sapphire Slab? Oh, it's Otani. I don't think I have a Let's Go, Ellie. Are you just asking, like, in general? All right, next up, we got a 8 bucks on this. Trent Grisham, number out of 10. Oh, he said he pulled one. Yeah, I think that one is from Big League. Yeah. I haven't opened any big league. Is, have you, has anybody in the chat opened any big league? Do you think it's worthwhile or is it kind of a bust? I typically steer clear of big league, but I don't know. It's definitely a cheap rip. Might be something fun to do. Oh, wow. That's a pretty sweet uh, little sale right there on the Griffey. Next up for 8 bucks, we got a Jacob Berry first. Bowman Chrome Lunar numbered to one ninety nine. Yeah, that's a good point, Floyd Vance. Hard to bust when it's at that price range. Big league is fun for fifty. Plus, you can pull a striker breaks card. That would be pretty sweet. I feel like if you pull like a numbered rookie card though, or like a, a rookie autograph holds value. All right, next up for eight, we got a sweet cap roll back. Uh, Bo Bichette, 206. This is a variation. Huh. Yeah, right. 
Next up for eight, this one's got some surface problems, but numbered out of 15, Mason Miller Orange. Pretty sweet card. 15 out of 15 bookend. Maybe Peds will get a card one day. How sick would that be? Yeah, not, you never know. Maybe, maybe we'll all get a card one day. <laughs> That would be cool. Alrighty. Next up, we're moving on to the $10 stack. If Peds gets a card, he should be shotgunning a beer on it. <laughs> Could you imagine? Floyd fan says he almost made it on a card. <laughs> Ethan might get a card. Maybe the SSP Peds. Yeah, let's do that. SSP will be that pose. Miller for six says... James Floyd fan says, sure. All righty, you got it, man. So this one is going to be sold to James. Nice snag there. Alrighty, $10 stack coming right up. First up, how about a Grayson Rodriguez image variation rookie card from Topps Heritage? Off to a nice start for the Orioles. There you go. Next up, this one's a little OC. Does have a print line, but 10 bucks on the Logan O'Hoppy to 299 rookie. Uh, let me see. I think it is, yeah. Yeah, it's gradable. Sold O Hoppy to David. Sold Rodriguez to Jax or hold fast, but he says send it to Jax. So appreciate that, man. That hobby love going to Jax baseball. Jax has one of the coolest collections around. Be sure to check out his channel, his Instagram page. He's got amazing, amazing cards and uh always makes it a good good show all right we are moving on next up cows peak i'm actually i was watching the clemson uh the clemson game earlier i like um i like florida state a lot 
I like Texas A&M. I like Florida. I like Wake Forest. And, um, yeah, there were some big, some big teams this year. Hey, Pez, I have a white heritage border in my stack. I'm so sorry that it was numbered in something else. Yeah, no problem, James. Arizona, solid, yeah. LSU's not as good this year. I think Duke is really good. I like Duke this year. North Carolina is not that good this year. Um, I like Georgia. I like t Texas is solid. I mean, Michael Bush just went deep again. Yeah, Duke is really good. All right, next up for 10. This one does have a dimple on it, but Ronald Acuna Jr. Black Border number 2, 299. Bush with his fourth homer. M is pulled Hancock at 70. Gotcha. Sold Acuna to Block Man. Oh, Virginia is really good too. Sorry, Pumpy. The Acuna sold that full to block, man. I don't think I don't think Virginia is going to go that far, but I'm actually going to the College World Series this year, guys. So I'm pretty excited. For the first time ever, I'm going to Omaha. So I'm going to try to get some some videos. Maybe I'll go live. But I'm going to the College World Series this year. I'm pumped. Hope to see Jack Haglione two way. Potential first overall pick out of Florida. You know, I obviously want to see uh, Chase Burns, ace pitcher for Wake Forest. I want to see Charlie Condon. You know, I want to see all these guys. So, um, how much on the Snell PSA 10? I got uh, 100 bucks on this Snell. Next up, 10 bucks on the Red Sox, Mother's Day to 50. Uh, we're on the $10 stack, 95, sir. Next up, sold Red Sox to Adam. Nice pickup there, Adam. How much on the blue Otani? Give me one sec, David. All right. I got Adam on the Red Sox. One seventy five. That was a uh, sounds good, Henry. You got it sold, but it's only four bucks. So um, I'll put that in your stack, though, for four. Appreciate that, man. No worries, Henry. So you got that one for four. Henry is on the board. All right, here we go. Next up, speaking of the Dodgers, this one does have some surface issues. You meant the Pudge Rodriguez relic. All right, I can take that out of your stack if you want. You'll take it at 175. Sounds good, David. Appreciate that, man. Off the board, sold to David for 175. Yeah, that's fine, Henry. We can do that for you.
What's up, Sean? How's it going, man? You got it, Henry. No problem. All right, appreciate it, David. Nice pickup and no rush. All right, nobody on the stone. Numbered. This is numbered out of 17, actually, so... Pretty low numbered card right there. This one's cleaner than the one I sold earlier, so this is why it's more expensive. There's no flaws really or anything. I got 10 bucks on this one. Kevin Biggio, first Bowman Chrome autograph. Doing well, man. Doing well. If anybody wants this one, 75 bucks. We got this one available. PSA 10 Otani Rookie 160. Blake Snell, 100, PSA 10, Prospect Autograph, Otani, Beam Team Red, 375, Rookie, PSA 10, Buster Posey, PSA 10, Refractor to 199, 600, or Best Offer, 1K on the Meyer, we got Otani, number to 199, Rookie for 450, Barry Bonds, number to 10 for 300. Tops Tech, 99. Trouty for 75. I think that would be similar, Floyd fan. And I got a Posey PSA 10 rookie for 50. I got an Adley PSA 10 logo fractor for 50. I got a Berrios blue refractor PSA 10 chrome rookie for 50. Acuna PSA 10 logo fractor for 50. Blaze Jordan, gold out of 50, PSA 10 for 100, and the Vlad Auto, Astrological to 99 for 250. I'm back, rain delays over, play ball, Dodgers. I'm going to pass on the Posey at 40, James. Appreciate the offer, though. Alrighty, next up, we are going to move on to the $12 to $15 stack. $45, sure, I'll do $45 on the Posey. Uh, the Adley Logo Fractor was $50, Jax, $50. Bucks. I'll do $45 on the Posey, $10 for you, James, sold. All right, $12 stack. Here we go. We got Connor in the house. What's going on, Connor? First up for 12, number to 299. Ronald Acuna Jr. All Star game, black to 299. Yeah, the, the Adley was a 10. Sold Acuna to Pumpy. Nice snag there. Appreciate that. All righty. Pumpy on the Acuna. Jack says sold Adley. My Adley had shit center. I'll take it. Nice pick up there, Jax. On the Adley PSA 10. All yours, my friend. I got a nice stack ready to deliver to you so whenever you're in the area or want to meet up i'm definitely happy to drop these off but i do love logo fracker this year i love it every year i mean it's only been around for what two years but <laughs> logo fracker seems to knock it out of the park Year in, year out. 
All right, next up for, I think we're moving on to, oh, I'm sorry. I think I mixed some things up, but these are actually going to be $10. So moving backwards, I got 10 bucks on the next few cards, $10 on this one. Uh, Austin Martin Orange to 25 Bowman Platinum. No, the Acuna Slab's not an SP, but it's a Logo Fractor from the inaugural year of Logo Fractor. Ten bucks on the Martin. I got a Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card from Topps Chrome Update for ten. I'm gonna pay for shipping. All right. Sounds good, Jax. No problem. And then 10 bucks on this one's got a tiny corner on it, but Carlos Jorge Gold Auto to 50. I got sold Tatis to Mark right before Pumpy, so Mark did get the Tatis. Nice snag there. I think that's your first purchase of the night, Mark, so let me get you started here. All right, back. To the $12 stack here. This one does have a little corner on it, but Mike Stanton, aka John Carlos Stanton, rookie number to $9.99. Seven on the Jorge. I have to defer to Floyd Fan on that. It's not my card, but we got a Mike Stanton rookie. I'm sorry. Mike Stanton rookie to $9.99. I got $75 bucks on the Trout. This one does have a print line, but I got 15 bucks on it. Trey Lipscomb, first Bowman Chrome autograph. We got a Roberto Alomar Tops Triple Threads Blast of a Day for 15 bucks. Sold eight on the Jorge to James. Yeah, no problem. Give me one sec. We'll grab that trout. I don't know, is it? Uh, it says, relics contained on this card are not from any specific game, event, or season. So, unfortunately, I cannot confirm that it is game used, Henry. Sorry. I thought it was. I thought from Triple Threads, you know, they would go for uh, the game used stuff, but I guess not. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like 90% sure it would be game used, but I guess not. Next up, though, this one, it's got a little... Uh, Dimple on it for uh, Mason Miller, rookie auto for 15. Yeah, I can do 12 on that one for you, James. You mean the uh, Roberto Alomar? Oh, okay. Sean says he thinks it means using a game, just not one of specific significance. I don't know. Ah, uh, no problem, James. Yep, this is the uh, fifteen dollar stack. All right, next up for fifteen, we got a Riley Green image variation rookie. I got sold Miller to Jacks, back to back Jacks. Sold Miller to Jacks. Sold green to Jax. Oh boy. Cleaning up on the heritage. All right, next up. This one's got some corner issues and 
it's not going to gem, but it's a cool one for 15. Barry Bonds, base relic number to 150. From upper deck to 2003. Barry Bonds, upper deck MVP. Base relic sold Bonds to Floyd fan. Alrighty, nice snag there. Next up for 15, we got a Roman Anthony numbered to 499 Sky Blue. Sold Anthony to Jax. Nice pickup. This next one does have a corner problem. I uh, dropped it five bucks from last sale. Fifteen bucks. Riley Green, orange, number to two ninety nine. Rookie for fifteen bucks. Not going to gem, but still could get a nine. Next up, this one's got some print lines, but fifteen bucks. Number two. Numbered 75 out of 75, Trey Lipscomb, Yellow Lava. This one does have a print line, 15. Adley Rutschman, blue to 150. Sold 12, Riley Green, orange. Yeah, I'll do that for you, James. Yep, Lipscomb is from Tennessee. Played in the same team as Logan, uh, I'm sorry, Drew Gilbert, Jordan Beck, Chase Dolander, and Joyce, and Chase Burns. But anywho, next up for 15, Ozzie Smith, Green Mojo, number to 99. Twelve bucks. Lips come yellow. Yeah, I can do that for you, James. Sold. Bobby Miller to the IL. Shoot. Uh, Dodgers IL might be the best rotation in baseball. And then for this one's got some surface problems, but. Machado, Jones, Davis, 15 bucks on that, numbered out of 18. And then next up, we got the $20 to $40 stack. Sold Machado to Mark, nice snag there. All right, $20 to $40 stack, and we got the high end. First up, he's finally starting to hit again. 20 bucks on this, Brett Beatty, first Bowman Chrome Speckle. Not going to lie, I was wrong about him. Kind of wrote him off after spring training, but this cat is raking. This one's got some surface issues, but for twenty bucks, Bell Trade Tops Gold Label numbered out of six ninety nine, Class Two Gold, the OG Gold Label from two thousand one. I'm gonna have to take a tinkle soon. Next up, this one's got some uh, dimple on it, but pretty cool one, number to two ninety nine, Michael Harris rookie debut orange foil. So two ninety nine sold Bell traded David. That's a cool card. Nice pick up there, David. All right, nobody on the Michael Harris. Next up, we got a Paul Goldschmidt patch card from Museum Collection to 35. 20 bucks on that. Next up, 
Next up for 20 bucks, Mason Wynn. Draft Prism Fireworks Auto. Sold Harris for 15. Yeah, I can do that for you, Henry. Next up for 20 bucks, we got a Jesus Lazardo dual patch card from Tops Tier 1, number to 25. This is from 2021. Next up, number to 99, Blaze Jordan autograph for 20 bucks. Sold Beatty Sparkle for 15. Yeah, I'll do that for you, Adam. No problem. Did someone grab the blue Adley, by the way? I think I'm going to miss that. Someone grab. And what about the Alomar? Did I miss someone on that or no? Maybe not. All right. Adam got the Beatty. Yeah, we should. We should. Oh, the Blaze is Floyd fan, so I'm going to have to defer to him. Next up for 25, number out of 50, 25 bucks on the Dylan Cease rookie gold. Sure, so I'm going to be sold to James at 15. Next up for 25, Don Mattingly Blue, numbered to 150. I'm going to have to throw up a little auction lot here because I. That'll cover the bonds I bought. There you go. All right, so Floyd Fan wants to sell his 2024 card, so that's what we're going to do. All right, Floyd fan, let me know if you want me to add anything else to this, but we got a Jose Ramirez rainbow foil. Chicago Cubs rainbow foil. Ole Dale Cruz rookie. Dominguez rookie. Verlander rainbow. And Pete Crow Armstrong chrome. Love it. All right, I'm going to have to take a quick breather, but before I... A Lawler. Let me see. I think someone bought that card. Um, let me check. Pretty sure someone bought that. Yeah, Doc bought it. So we'll start this at $1, 
Floyd fan, if you want me to add anything else, let me know. Um, all right, we'll start that at one buck. I will be right back. Alrighty guys, I'm back. $10 a pumpy, going once. Going once, going twice, last call on this lot. This one is going to be sold. Nice snag there, Pompey at 10. Not too many more cards to get through tonight, but we do have some big boys. So the rest of the cards, I'll call out the price before I show the cards since they get incrementally bigger. But first up, I got 30 on this. Does have some print lines. Uh, Luke Little, now up with the big league club. First film and chrome auto. Purple to 250. Next up. For 30, we got Joshua Baez on the Bowman Draft Sapphire Orange to 25, 12 out of 25. This one's got a tiny little corner indentation, but 35 bucks on that. Otani, the bottom right just kind of looked a little funky out of the pack. It's not that it has a ding, it just kind of goes, it has like a little, like tiny groove. It's hard to pick up on camera. It might be too harsh. It might be a 10 still, honestly, but 
I got sold Otani to David. So David gets the Otani, huge Otani collector. Appreciate that. I appreciate that, David. Um, Going to be having some of David's cards available in our next card sale. So David is kind enough to send over um, some of his pretty cool baseball cards. So be prepared for some new variety. All right, next up for 35 bucks, we got a little Brett Beatty rookie auto, a little off center, but kids finally starting to hit a little bit. Auto refractor to four ninety nine, thirty five 35 bucks. Next up, I got 40 on this. Rookie patch auto, Casey Mize. A little tick on the corner, but... 23 of 25. Next up, I cracked this out of a Beckett 9.5. I got 50 bucks on it. Manny Machado, 2011 Bowman Platinum Autograph. Cracked it out of a Beckett 9.5. Really, really bold autograph on this one. Next up. I got 80 bucks on this one. Last one sold for 85. It's a 1999 Topps Chrome Adrian Beltre Refractor, the OG Chrome days. And then the last two cards, I got John Smoltz, 175 bucks on this. Reverence patch auto to 10 on card autograph with some kind of inscription on the patch. 175 bucks. Hall of Fame pitcher there for the Braves. And then we got ourselves quad auto. I got 300 bucks on this. Neto, Williams, Young, and Romero. Sold Smoltz to Doc. Appreciate that, man. Nice pickup. It's a beautiful card. Congratulations, man. Appreciate that, sir. Sold to Doc's cards. Huge pickup. One of the greatest pitchers of all time. I'll go through the slabs one more time as well. All right, I'll go cheapest to most expensive. All right, first up, Jose Barrios. PSA 10 blue rookie. I got 50 on it or best offer. Acuna 10 for 50 on the logo. Trout Pink PSA 10 logo, 75 bucks. Like I said, open to offers on these guys. I'm not married to my prices. Blaze Jordan PSA 10 gold out of 50, 100 bucks. Blake Snell rookie or prospect auto PSA 10. Trout for 65. Yeah, I can do that for you, Bobby. Sold for 65 to Bobby. Sold to Cooney for 40 to hold fast. Um, yeah, I'll do that for you.
Oh wait, Doc got it. Doc got it. He got full, full on the on the uh, Cunha. But I'm gonna give you the uh, ten dollar discount because I had a mishap. So I'm gonna give it. I gotta give it to uh, Hold Fast. Or uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta give it to Doc. I'll give it to Doc at forty. All right. Next up. Otani Platinum 160 bucks on the PSA 10 Yeah, it's kind of messed up if I agree to sell it for lesser and then I just take the it's kind of greedy. So I Doc's a good a good man and we like to have fun here, so Sold Otani to 95, sir. Wow. Appreciate that, man. Nice pickup. That's a beautiful card. Nice snag. All right. 95, sir, with the monster Otani. All right. Wow. That's a sweet card, dude. Huh. Integrity refreshing this day and age. Sure is. All right, next up though, we got uh I got 250 on this, probably a little high considering how he's playing. But it's just a card I'm not necessarily trying to move, but flat auto to 99. Um like I said, this was the to 10 uh Barry Bonds. I was asking 300 on that. Next up, uh, Shohei Otani Beam Team. This is the red foil. Not numbered, but it is, you know, rarer than the base. I got 375 on that, PSA 10. Uh, this is a PSA 10 Otani numbered to 199 Panini, but probably priced a little too high, honestly. Um, cause don't necessarily want to get rid of it, but it's also, you know... I open a lot of boxes, so I, then I have some wiggle room on this one as well. Um, Buster Posey to one ninety nine gem mint ten. I'm asking probably a little too high. Um, I could get closer to five on that one. And this one's have some wiggle room as well. But I'm pretty pretty tired. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I got to get up early for a softball game, so probably not gonna stay on too too much longer. But I will stay on for another ten minutes or so if that's uh, if you guys want to check anything else out. But once again, it's nice to be back. I'm sorry I didn't have a crazy amount of cards for sale, but I wanted to make sure I at least popped on and kind of uh, showed everybody what we had available. Going to be doing more ripping the next couple of weeks, more buying. So I'm sure we'll have a nice variety coming up. We got some more collections coming in that we're going to sell. So it's going to be a fun, uh, fun rest of the year. Thanks, Pompey. Peds, if you want to make a deal on some of the 3 to $4 relics. Yeah, I can go through the unsold real quick. Sounds good, Floyd fans. All right, we had a Contreras relic for three. High number on the Horner. You got it, Doc. Have a great night. <laughs> no problem, Floyd fan. Probably better off because I'm 
it's getting uh tough for me you know i i got a handle on it but it's uh i got a lot of uh irons in the fire right now so the smaller the better honestly i got a lot a lot i gotta do um a rod i appreciate that james and uh have a good night we'll get this out to you on monday memphis wax what's going on Someone grab this card. I might have missed this one. One dollar on the A Rod. Let me know, Floyd fan. Two bucks sold on the which card was it again? A Rod card sold to Henry. Nice snag on the A Rod. Memphis, cheers. Three bucks on that. Three bucks on that. Three bucks on that. Three bucks on that. What were you asking on the Otani Beam Team? And I was asking three seventy five on the Otani Beam Team Red Meyer. I could do like nine hundred. Um, I know it's high. I know it's high. But I wasn't necessarily trying to move them right away. Stanton and Springer Relic for five. Let me see. Yeah, we could do that for you, Block Man. Jet Williams for four. Nelson Cruz for four. Cole Reagan's negative for five. These are all five. Lodolo for five. Gore for five. Struck out 11 tonight. Montgomery. O'Hearn. Not my card. I'll have to ask Floyd fan on the Peraza. Sold Peraza. VG condition, Brandon. Sounds good, David. I will check it out tomorrow, and I'll get back to you shortly. Have a good night. I appreciate you hanging out, as always. And uh, I'm sure we'll be talking soon. What's up, Kim? All right, last stack. Let's get into it.
Uh, let me see. Ninety-five. Ninety-five was the number on the card. Eight bucks on the Irvin. Sold Irvin at eight to hold fast. Nice snag there. Hold fast. Eight bucks on the on the uh, Bryce Miller, Sean. Lipscomb, I had. Let me see. Sold Miller to Sean. Fifteen on the Lipscomb. Miller sold to Sean. Nice. I'm sorry. All right, let's get back to the rest real quick. Sorry, I might have overlapped a few cards, but if I did, I'm sorry. All right, last of the bit, we got the Mason win. Twenty on the lips coming, Biggio. Let me see. 20 bucks on the Goldschmidt Relic. 20 on Lipscomb and Biggio. Yeah, I can do that for you. Sold to Brandon on 20 on that. Fifteen on the Goldie. Let me see. Sure, I can do that for you. To hold fast. And then these were the slabs. If anybody's interested, make an offer. No pressure, obviously, but. I'll give you a good deal tonight. I'm in a good mood. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me tonight. It was nice to be back, and I am uh, excited for the upcoming week. We will be going live, um, not next weekend, but the following weekend. And we're going to have a lot of new cards available, and hopefully um, some huge, huge bangers on the way. Jax, let me count you up real quick. I'm asking 900 on the Meyer. Um, give me one sec, Jax. I got you at 50, 60, plus 30s, 90, 105, 105, Jax, plus 15. All right. Sounds good, Jax. Sounds good. Roger that, Blockman. Hold fast. I can try to add it up real quick. 
I got you at hold fast. 7, 11, 19, 29, 34, 38 bucks. 38 bucks. But I've got, what should I put, what should I open for tomorrow's video? Uh, I got 2024 Heritage or 23 Series 1 Jumbo. Royals cards. I mean, I PC Bobby Witt, but let's see if I have any Royals cards available. Real quick, I don't think we have too much, um, unfortunately. But if you have any specific player quests, I can definitely go check what I have on my in my inventory. Um. Heritage, nice. Jumbo. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll do something. Um, but, yeah. Well, nah. No Royals card. Sorry. All right, ladies and germs. Twas another fun night on the interwebs. Hope you guys and gals enjoy. Be back in two weeks, and I will be cranking out the videos until then. So thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peds Card Collection out. Take care.